When I first heard the word savage, I thought of the movie Pocahontas, because in the beginning of the movie Pocahontas, they sing a song that goes, savages, savages, barely even human savages. And the whites are singing it about the Indians, and the Indians are singing about the whites. Now, I have a relationship with Pocahontas the movie because the first time I took shrooms, I was in the Cumberland Gap, and I developed a magical relationship with the trees, like I was part of a congregation. And the trees were applauding, and I was communing with nature like I never communed before. And I felt like an Indian, or a Native American, let's say, for a good seven to 12 minutes. And we might have been up there for 45 minutes at the most but I felt history like I knew what the Indians were talking about. Now, there came a time when we had to enter civilization, and if you've ever been to the Cumberland Gap, it's in the middle of nowhere, like Kentucky and Tennessee, and my friend who was with me, who didn't take a, a shroom or shrooms, and I walked down to a strip mall. And right as we were entering this world, someone's being put in handcuffs and being shoved in the back of a police car, and it's pretty hick, and low-class shops, and trashy cars, and shoeless children running around in underwear, and why am I kneeling like this? It's like I'm gonna squat and urinate. <laughs> but there was a small local movie theater, and Pocahontas was playing, and the first song in, I, I squealed like it was my life story. And, well, like the life I explained that I felt about, you know, an hour before for seven to 12 minutes. But still, I mean, Pocahontas had a relationship with the tree. I had a relationship with the forest. But re-watching it several weeks ago when I heard the word savage, I noticed a few things, like as much as I could take of the movie. And I still like the songs, but Pocahontas is a double D, and Mel Gibson <laughs> is John Smith. Now, Mel Gibson. Now, a lot of time is savage, and Mel Gibson has since, you know, ranted against the Jews and his wife, Oksana, and I would have liked to have heard that superimposed over the movie, and I also would have liked to see, underneath the beauty of Pocahontas with the double D boobs and the Mariel Hemingway legs and hips and whatnot, I would have liked to have seen the actual picture of Pocahontas, because I, I think she was a dog. But they, made the, but they made this one beautiful, and really, if they recast her, they could cast her with Padma Lakshmi from Top Show. Jeff, and I would probably watch that real life Pocahontas version. I would watch Pod Balakshmi eat berries from a local bush and comment about how the water buffalo was cooked. I would watch that show. And just so you know, it also made me think, because we're in the terrain of my brain, uh, that Allison Williams is playing Peter Pan in the live version of Peter Pan. And that concerns me. Only because, well, one, when I think of Peter Pan, I think of Kathy Rigby, which makes me think of maxi pads. But two, it reminds me of when Julia Roberts got her hair cut to play Tinkerbell, and that was like watching Julia Roberts have a mental breakdown. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So last night I decided to do some more research and I depicted a sav I looked at savages in films and I was watching these things that were depicting the horrible savagery of the Indians in old West, West films and honestly I didn't see it maybe they like struck the white people first but honestly maybe it's all what we've learned you know in the past like 15 years or maybe 20 I don't know how long it's been time like I said a savage it goes by fast but um, the fact that the Indians to me seemed a lot cooler than the white people they uh, had great, like, they have great blankets. Anything made out of loom is very valuable. And, and I was thinking, not because of what I watched in the videos, but I was thinking, and I'm not looking at my script, that uh, any tribesman or Indian um, won't really shit in their pants. Like, that's something that civilized people do, because they're wearing, like, loincloths on a hot day, and they can squat wherever they want to. I cut that part out, but here. Um, here's another thing. Let's see. Um, savage. Savage is such a good word for me. One, I like being a nature topless, and two, I like eating meat with my hands. Once I quit smoking, actually, and in a two-week period, I ate ten steaks. And I ate them with my hands, and they were very raw. And by the end of the two weeks, I had like a bowel obstruction. And I don't think it was the meat. I think it was the hormones that we put in the meat, because I bought my shit at Food for Less. OK. Now, let's skipping, skipping on. I was going to talk about someone's head that they found in Griffith Park. I knew a guy's head that they found in Griffith Park a few years ago. And I had a feeling I was going to know who the head was for some reason. But I pegged him as a local Armenian in my neighborhood. He happened to be in, living in my old neighborhood, but I recognized his face between when I was watching Shark Tank. The newscast put up his head, and I'm like, oh my god, I do know him! I thought it was the Armenian. No, it's the Mexican. 
So anyway, they couldn't identify the age of the man. They thought he was between 40 and 70. Now, I, I don't mean to say that the savagery of the murder is the problem. The problem was that this man had so much Botox, wrestling, cheek implants, a brow lift, fake teeth, they couldn't tell his fucking age. So tell me what's savage. The doctors who did his face like that, or uh, the guy who chopped his head off? Who <laughs> the fucking booga? We are savages. And don't fucking tell me. Or maybe it's line cutting or jealousy. Maybe that's what makes you want to wield your verbal tomahawk. By instinct, we are savages. And that's just not to say you won't help someone in the time of need, but it would be nicer if the time was right. Like after I finish binge watching the most recent Netflix, Netflix series, or after I craft my treat. I mean, really, can't your aneurysm wait? You don't need a spear. You don't need the robe. You don't need to wear face paint. Oh, I don't want to go here because it's going to get dark and I only have a minute. Because I was going to talk about all you need to do is like gangbang that fucking loose 16 year old and put it online and let all the people watch it. All you need to do in the modern world is sit online faceless and you can throw your poisonous darts at other people. So tell me what's civilized. I'd like to know what is civilized. You know, hotel lobbies? Espresso? Uh, uh, medicine? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Medicine is important, but even bacteria, it is savage. Bacteria rages against the antibiotics. So just pose the question. You know what? Honestly, fuck the question. I'm going to take make a little hammock, lay down topless, read the Bible, which is savage, and just say, ah. Well, I all chew on the rib of Adam of some fucking T-bone stick. <laughs>